Hi, welcome to the Paper Snob. This is Tara. I'm going to be working on the Rainbow Magic YouTube Hop and Instagram Hop. It is put on by Crazy Craft Obsession. She has a great community on Facebook as well as an online store. Those links will be in my description box below as well as a link for each of the people who are participating in this hop. This month, for the month of March, we are doing red. Last month we did orange and I didn't participate in January because I was really new to the community but they did yellow and so we're going to be doing red. Now we're allowed to use neutrals like craft and black and white and I love to do mixed media and I had considered doing mixed media but the idea of using red on my layout as a mixed media element. Really don't want it to look like a CSI crime scene. So I think I'm gonna skip the red ink. I might bring in some white and or black splatters, but no red. So I'm gonna fast forward you and let's get started. So I have chosen three different pieces of pattern paper from Simple Stories. They are from three different collections and I feel like I did a really good job mixing and matching these. I chose this black and white floral as my base paper because it was pretty and I thought it looked really good with my daughter's photo. This red and white piece I'm going to use as a large mat for my photos that I'm going to cut down to three by four. So next I'm going to cut the red and white pattern paper down to six by eight and then I'm going to set aside the extra pieces. I'll use them in another layout another time. I wanted to use this piece because it was a, a smaller pattern and then I'm going to bring in this black and white gingham which is from Simple Vintage Lemon Twist. I think that's what they call that one. It is actually a scrap from a previous layout that I've just cut down with the hopes that I could use it. So these photos were taken of my daughter when we were at a church picnic at the park and she was sitting in her chair and I was taking photos of the church functions because at that time I was a church photographer and I was just trying to get some photos of what was going on with the church community and I turned the camera on her and she stuck her tongue out at me and then smiled at me real big. So here I'm showing you my red color binder papers from my binder. I mentioned these last month and mentioned that this is an excellent idea but for me it doesn't work because I stuck all of these stickers and pieces of ephemera into this color binder and they went there to die like literally I haven't opened them until now and so I am trying to use up some of these pieces. I'm going to use this Rainbow Magic Hop as an excuse to dig through these specifically because they are in rainbow color and hopefully I can get a bunch of the stuff used up. Now I have pulled some various things from those pages. There are ladybugs and flowers and a scallop circle and a red high top um, sneaker and some other things and I'm just going to kind of start playing with placement on these. I chose a title from Full Bloom, Simple Stories Full Bloom Smile. It is mostly red and of course it has some floral print on it but it is mostly red and so I decided that it was going to work and now I'm just gonna finish placing all these bits and pieces down kind of deciding where I want things to go. You might wonder why I have chosen a red sneaker for my daughter. When she was in high school, she wore Converse. She had them in multiple colors. They were her favorite shoe ever. The bugs come to play because when she was really, really little, I used to call her my quirky bug. And while I don't call her that anymore because she's outgrown that nickname, it still is an important 
nickname and I like to bring it in as part of our memories. Now that is my box of Prima type flowers. There's probably more recollections flowers in there these days, but I keep them in that shoe box and in little baggies divided by color just so that I can find them easy. And I'm gonna bring in several of these to just play with for this layout. I have mentioned several times this month that I'm really trying to work hard at using up these florals that I have been hoarding forever and I have pulled them out and used them on at least three layouts in the month of March. It may even have been four and so I'm kind of getting there and you know maybe that means at the end of the year I'll go buy a whole bunch more. This is my box of rainbow sorted brads and so I pulled out my little tiny box of large red brads and I'm going to pick some to put in the centers of these flowers. I will also pull out the medium sized red brads and the small sized red brads so that I have a good assortment to choose from for the centers of the flowers. So I was mostly joking about buying more of these flowers. My goal is actually to use them all up and then make sure that I use my cameo or my dyes to make any flowers that I need for my layouts from here on out. Embellishments are getting super expensive and flowers are one of the one things that I think that I can just create on my own with scraps. So I think it's kind of fun to dig through the various little bins of my brads because I have some really cute ones in there. I chose a white heart with red polka dots. I chose two lips um, and I chose the lips because Courtney is a cosmetologist and she also specialized in makeup going to cosmetology school. And so I thought that was kind of a fun nod to what she had decided to do when she grew up because this is right about the time that she graduated from high school. It's about a month before the ceremony, but I think we were almost finished with school by the time this church picnic took place. So I glued everything down off camera. I also scuffed up the edges of my photo mats and some of the embellishments on there and I wrote my journaling on three red and white labels there at the top. I'm adding in these white splatters. Now I do want to mention that these photos were taken in 2015. My daughter is now an adult and she lives on her own. I want to thank you for stopping by my channel today. I enjoy visiting with you on YouTube, so please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure that you check out that playlist in my description box so that you can see what all the other beautiful creations the other ladies have done this month. I promise you will be wowed because they are amazing. Have a great day. Bye.